Here's the kitchen. Very modern and clean kitchen. Put steaks, fish, whatever you like in here. Some ice. Pie case, microwave, there's even a dishwasher in here. Over here is the main electrical panel. These uh, switches up here for the emergency lights when we have no power. Uh, the marker lights to shut them off. Got a reset button for the toilet, for the evac toilet if it's malfunctioning. This is our selector for um, either the generator or the shore power. Right now we're running on shore power. We're running 480 volts. And we're hardly running any amps. But if I turn on the air conditioners and the heaters, notice and it'll go way up these uh, knobs are for the, the air conditioner temperature And down here we have lights for um, the black water tanks and also for our, our water tanks. We have two um, water pumps here. It's on pump number two right now. This is our uh, generator hours. And if our generator is running, it shows us how much um, voltage we're running. Our main electrical cabinet here we got the large breakers for our uh, air conditioning our ovens hot water heaters and down below you see our 480 cables this is a uh, where the main electricity comes into the car from either um, the head and power or the shore power All the different wires going to the lights and motors and all kinds of things there. And over here is our uh, 120 for the smaller stuff, mostly lights. Over here we have uh, two transformers that's charging the batteries under the car. We got a bank of batteries for emergency lighting and the bank of batteries that starts our generator. And a few other switches. Upstairs here we got a small uh, bar, alcohols in there, and of course coffee, orange juice, 
whatever you want up here. These are some of the tallest dome cars in America. I believe they're about 18 feet. That one right there is actually the tallest car in America. T tallest passenger car that is. And it's getting ready for its morning run. This glass you see is some of the largest glass ever made for a rail car. And it is not cheap, it is bulletproof. And believe it or not, it's actually not that hard to replace these pieces of glass once they get cracked. You basically um, take a razor blade and you cut the seal all the way down until you hit metal. You go all the way around, go on the outside and do the same thing. And then we have a forklift with uh, four suction cups. We'll attach it to the glass on the outside. We'll pick it up and it will pull away. And then when we put in a new piece of glass, we clean up all this gasket material. We get it real nice and neat. And then we'll put um, black caulking all the way around the edges. And we will press the window into place. And... Um, put caulking on the outside and then we'll put suction cups on uh, this other window the suction cup on the inside of this window and we'll um, tie them together and with a like a come along we'll pull them together and we'll let it dry for a few days we typically don't have too many problems with this glass with the crack and then everything These small lights, uh, we replace those all the time. Seems like they uh, burn out almost every day, but we have a lot of cars here, so it's probably just not that many burning out, but it sure seemed like it. And uh, not too many uh, passenger cars actually have an elevator, but many of ours do. Handicapped elevator. And uh, we'll go downstairs, take a little ride here. We have special magnetic locks so people can't pull these open. See the capacity of this elevator is 750 pounds. Okay, so here we go. <laughs>
for all you mechanical guys, if you're wondering uh, if this is hydraulic or electric, it's actually a electric jack screw type. That's how that elevator works. Generally upstairs we don't have uh, too many problems. These seats don't give us too many problems. We have uh, these tray uh, latches break off now and then. And uh, once in a while the seat may not recline back and forth. But other than that, it's just mainly light bulbs. And um, you might change out a ballast for one of these lights every now and then. But that doesn't happen too often. Never had a problem with the speakers. Yeah, up here you don't have too many problems. Over here is our gift shop. All kinds of neat things to buy. Silver coins, hats, even HL scale trains. Books. Over here is our bathrooms. And the way these toilets work, they're called evac toilets. Um, they work on compressed air. Compressed air builds up a vacuum. And then when you push the button, it sucks the water into a smaller tank. It builds up another it builds up pressure in the small tank and then discharges it into the uh, black water tank. Here's some new couplers over here. These couplers weigh about 800 pounds a piece. These couplers are designed with a special hook right here so if the car starts to roll it won't tip over. Many tank cars have this coupler as well.